What's happening everyone? Welcome to another tutorial from InFictionOnline.com I don't forget on our site you can click on this tutorial request link here on the left side now, that'll bring you to this window here you fill out this form you can send a request on any software title or any type of tutorial computer related that you're interested in and we help you as best as we can all right if you're on YouTube you can check out our channel youtube.com slash online don't forget to leave comments rate the video and subscribe to our channel that's what keeps us going that's what keeps us strong All right so without further ado let's get into this current tutorial how to video okay so once you got rid of all of those files what you have to remember is you have to go to the optional installs and we have to get rid of the X tools folder. Don't forget to get rid of that because that will still make your image too large. Alright, so once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to empty your trash. So you know everything is gone from your disk image. Alright, we can close this here. Open back up this utilities okay now from here what you want to do in step three is what we're going to do is we're going to create another image now this image is actually going to be a single layered this image even though we stripped down and took all the files out of the image we just created the OXX leopard.dmg but at the same time the, the, the volume itself is still seven and a half gigs so you will still need to do layer DVD to burn that alright so Okay, so what you're going to do is now you're going to unmount this image or eject it from Dish Utilities. Okay, and now while you're still in Dish Utilities, what you're going to do is you're going to, we want to create a new disk image, a single layer disk image. So you're going to go to f File and then New and Blank Disk Image. Okay, now the format you want it to be rewrite this image as it's selected encryption, none. Then the size. You know it's supposed to be 4.3, but we'll make it a little smaller. What we we'll do is put it in gigabytes. Instead of 4.38, what we'll do is we'll make it 4.35. Just to be on the safe side so we don't have no problems. All right, and what we'll do is we'll save this image as Leopard Thin. Now one thing I have to mention, if you're using Leopard to create this image, make sure that your partitions is set to single partition in the Apple partition map. All right now you're going to save it of course where you know you have that free space at. We're going to keep this in documents. Then you're going to just select on create. Okay, and once you do this, this takes a little time too, not as long as the other one took but it takes a little time okay so once that's done what you're going to do is you want to mount that image that you just created to case it's the leopard thin if it ain't mounted already and you see that basically this utility mounted that image already that's why you see it here and you also see it over here alright so once that's mounted what you want to do is you want to select on the restore tab okay and we're going to start from the bottom up of course and you want to select erase destination checkbox and your source drive you want to put the OSX leopard.dmg in your source and in the destination you want to put the leopard then Okay, so once you have both of those selected, what you're going to do is you're going to select on Restore. Of course, you're going to select OK. Then it's also going to return with an error message, letting you know that the Restore failed. And this is what we want, so there's nothing to be um, alarmed about. You're going to select on this leopard thin and you're gonna unmount it or eject it okay but what you're gonna do is you're gonna 
mount this image again the leopard thin dot dmg that we created open the mount and you see here it shows up as mac os x and store dvd all right and you're going to unselect the erase destination option also then you're going to try again with the restore button of course it gives you this message again you select ok Okay, so once you let this go through, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once the restore process is finally completed, it's time to um burn your your disk image, your new library disk image. Okay, now you have a few options with this. Um, you can use Dish Utility to burn it, or you can use Toast. Uh, I'm going to use Toast in this tutorial just to show something outside this image is the same way you mount the um image and you burn it but I use toast okay so what we're gonna do is you're gonna find the image itself uh, you know we put it in the documents folder I'm gonna right click it the whole control click and you're gonna see the option here toast it and that should open up toast automatically okay Okay, you see the option that toast bring up. I could burn it at 8x. I'm going to burn it at 4x speed. Make sure everything goes right. These are the other options you see here. We won't touch those, but I'm going to leave that how it is. And then select on record. And then toast starts and does what it do. As you can see here.